Hi, I'm John. I'm a senior physics major here at the University of Maryland College Park. And today I'm going to be demonstrating for you our electromagnetic radiation polarization demo. So I've got a transformer here, which is powering this old school radio transmitter. I have my receiver wand with a light bulb in it. I have a pair of transmitter antennae and a pair of receiver antennae. So I can now begin assembling by installing my transmitter antennae on either side. And then I can install my receiver antennae in my receiver wand. And we're ready to go. So what is our radio transmitter really doing? Well, a radio transmitter is a special device that generates a very high frequency oscillating electrical signal. And then that signal moves back and forth inside of our antenna. So in the case of this machine, we get 82.3 million oscillations per second. So the electrons are vibrating back and forth at this frequency inside of the antenna. And as the electrons inside of the antenna oscillate back and forth, they generate a changing electric field that radiates away from the antenna. And one of the most important consequences of our study of electromagnetism in what we call Maxwell's equations is that a changing electric field like that generated by the signal coming from the radio transmitter also generates a changing magnetic field. And it turns out that that magnetic field is always in the perpendicular direction to the electric field. So in our case, our electric field is moving back and forth this way, which means that our magnetic field is moving up and down this way. And as they radiate outward, our two fields are oscillating back and forth. And that is what we call an electromagnetic wave, hence the electric and the magnetic components. OK, so I'm going to turn the radio transmitter on. And now I can walk a distance away. And when I take my antenna with my light bulb, and I rotate it such that the antenna is parallel with the electric field of the radio wave, and I get closer, I can begin to see that my light begins to light up because the electric field of our radio wave is oscillating charges back and forth inside of the antenna. And those charges are, are an electric flow in there, and they're heating the element in our light bulb, which is causing it to glow. So you'll notice right now that my receiver antenna and my transmitter antenna are parallel. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, what happens if I rotate the receiver antenna? Well, let's find out. So as I rotate the antenna, I'm changing which portion of the wave my antenna is parallel to. So only when it's parallel to the receiver antenna, to, excuse me, to the transmitter antenna, is the receiver antenna parallel with the electric field of the magnetic wave. As soon as I turn it up, that electric field is trying to generate current moving back and forth in the wire this direction. And there's no flow through the light bulb, and so it doesn't turn on. So we can see very clearly that our radio waves are polarized. They have a very particular orientation in space. And thus the orientation of our antenna is important for us being able to receive the signal correctly. And this is a property of all electromagnetic waves, that they can possess this polarization. If you've ever gone and bought sunglasses that are polarized, your sunglasses are, in essence, enacting a very similar type of filter, whereby they're only allowing light waves of a particular orientation through your sunglasses, which helps cut down on the amount of light that your eyes receive. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.